What's up everyone, Takedown here, back with another video. I am super excited because my newest t-shirt designs from Tee Public have come in and I'm super excited to share them with you. So if you didn't know what Tee Public was, it is a online store that sells apparel and other items that have the designs from other artists. Whenever you purchase something with that artist's design on it off of Tee Public, that artist gets a little bit of the commission from the sales. So if you guys remember back whenever I rebranded my channel, I did have a couple t-shirts that I got from Tee Public that they sent me and I basically shared them. but. Those shirts were not my own designs because if you guys didn't know, on Tee Public, whenever you set up your store, you can also choose other artists' designs and put them onto your store to showcase them. And any sales that you make, you will still make a small commission, but the other artists will also make commission as well. But by using other artist designs on your store, you make a lot less of commission than you would if it was your own design. So for the past couple months, I have been working on some of my own designs. Now, some of these are pretty simple, but I do enjoy them enough and I think they came out phenomenal and I can't wait to share them with you. Now, I know since I am a small YouTuber, my main goal while doing this with Tee Public isn't really to make sales and earn a lot of money and earn an income. It's basically just to get my name on items. And that's why I wanted to get these shirts and they actually sent me them just before Christmas and they came in just before Christmas. But because I was on my two weeks off from recording anything, I couldn't record the video and share it with you guys until now. So let me show you some of these designs. So the first one here is a simple takedown logo. It's just my name in font. Uh, it does have a black border, but because I chose it on a navy shirt, you don't really see the black border around the font. But if you were to get it in a lighter color shirt, you will still get the black border. So it's not going to offset it because the logo is white. It is a black border, so it will work with lighter colored shirts. Now this here, like I said, it is simple, but to me it is simple enough that... I really enjoy it. I really think that it came out phenomenal. The thing I like the most about Tee Public is it's not a thick print. I know other shirt companies have a really thick print. This here is really thin. It honestly doesn't even, I, I don't even notice wearing it. And that's what I really love about Tee Public. The other thing I want to mention when it comes to their shirt quality, they are phenomenal. I've tried other companies before and they're a little bit thick or they're a little bit hard and not the greatest quality of shirts. These ones here are really soft. This fits, I ordered an extra large, fits perfect. It fits just like it's supposed to. Sometimes when I order extra large from other companies, it comes and it's almost like it's a large, usually it's a size down, but for this one here, I'm an extra large and I ordered an XL and this fits perfectly for me. This is the first design. Like I said, it is pretty simple. It is almost like the Avengers font, but it's not the Avengers font because of course that one would have been copyrighted and this one is not. So I was able to use this font here. I think it came out phenomenal. I do love it on the navy shirts. This one's definitely one of my favorite ones out of all of them. It'd be this one here, but let me show you the next one. Okay, the next one here is basically the same font as the last, except there is no outline or border around the text. And it is basically a fadeaway. So as you can see, that way now you can actually see it. It starts out it's black and then I basically had it set to fade away. And this one here, it's actually transparent. So I didn't choose light gray for it. It actually literally fades away, which is something that I didn't know you could do with Tee Public. Whenever I made these designs, I didn't think it would work right. So this shirt, again, it fits perfectly. I do love it. And this design here is more meant for lighter color shirts. This one here, actually, the other one is pretty simple, but I would say this one is my favorite one just because it is a full shirt. It is a full design. Again, it is pretty basic. It is the same font as the last one, which is almost like the Avengers font. But again, that one is copyrighted. I couldn't use that one. This one here. I think it's cool. I think it came out perfect. Again, it's mostly meant for lighter colored shirts. So if you do like this shirt and if you do want to support a smaller YouTuber, get it on a lighter shirt color. It does make more sense and actually does better. If you guys are interested, I might do a white fadeaway shirt, which is basically going to be the same design, except it's going to be meant for darker colored shirts. Now I do have one last shirt to show you. And this one here I am most excited for because this logo took me the longest to create and it is more creative than anything. Let me show you this one here. 
Okay, so the last design is personally my favorite one. I think I said that actually about all of these so far, just because when you create something that you design and you actually put a lot of effort into, whenever you see the finished product, it makes you fall in love with them. So actually, I love all three of these. I'm going to say it again with this one here. This one's my favorite. But again, all of them are my favorite ones. This one here, I just love it so much. It took the most to create this design. As you guys know, I'm Canadian, so I wanted the maple leaf involved. And it actually took me a while to come up with this because I basically took a maple leaf and I had to literally chop it up into four sections in order to get it right. I, it took a long time to do. The border was all hand done. That's what took a while. And I had to get this font here. So if you guys notice on all of my videos now, probably in this corner here, this logo appears. I think I used it on my Facebook page and maybe I posted it on Instagram, this logo here. So now it is available for shirts. This one here is, it was basically meant for on shirts, but whenever I seen the logo, I liked it so much. I wanted to use it for all my social media. So that's why it's in the corner here, just because as you guys know, I am Canadian. I am a proud Canadian. I wanted to include it in my logo. So these are my three newest designs on my Tee Public store. I'll leave that link down below so you guys can go check it out if you guys want to support a small YouTuber. But I'm really proud just for the fact that I have items that have my logos, my name on them, that I can also wear whenever I make my YouTube videos or in the future if I live stream, I'll have them on it as well. Now I know I'm likely not going to sell many and I'm definitely not gonna make a killing, but if you guys do enjoy my content and you guys want to support me as a small YouTuber, I'll leave it links down below so you guys can check them out, but I'm just happy to have something with my name on it. But I am gonna leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care, peace.